Hey everybody, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Chris here, and... Okay, we did the last, uh, Broken Alliance mission last time. And... Uh, Roma Fleet. I think you went over across and did it, didn't you? Uh, we got a load of RP, it was great. Article of colonization do get us access to armor piercers, and also the Yanis cruiser. Which I would really like. My hair is really unruly today. Um, I was going to bring this back across, but I thought I'd wait and so you guys could see it. We're going to start jumping Daedalus and its fleet, and then create a new fleet out of that. Um, build ships, one turn. We'll wait. Let's get the fleet the fleets yeah, be built up first. So we'll cancel that jump. Let's just enter. Cylon strike group has been detected. Battlestar group is under attack. Which Battlestar group? Oh, for crying out loud, auto resolve. New Artemis has been deployed. Less than 10%. It's not worth it. I'll pay the Tylium cost for thing. Uh, right, so we've got two Battlestars ready to roll. Uh, one for this fleet. I can't fit it with that. I have to take pick it out. No, Kent it. Detach. Close. Ballastar. Transfer to Fleet Dallas. Okay. Um. Sell off fleet. Done. Yep, that works. You guys connect together. You escort them back. How are you doing? 60 Tylium to jump you to the... No, I didn't want that. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't want that close. No. Cancel jump. That's what I wanted. Sorry. Um, you were going to jump there, weren't you? But it's going to cost you a lot. Okay. Titan, jump to such a tear on. Yeah, that's better. This means we're going to have two new Battlestar fleets. That's cool. Base star group has been detected. There's a lot of ships down there. How much to jump you? Quite a lot, actually. Um, I'm gonna need. You got that. You have that. You guys jump to there. Daedalus, um, I want you to build a Ceres. Daedalus. We're only doing that because we're not going to have a fleet defending it. Uh, close that actually. Colonial fleet. Apollo. Requested by Admiral Wigan, who is in command of this fleet. Don't worry, people, we have lots of fleets to go, so we're good. Uh, on a sign. A sign to Apollo fleet. Done. Right. Right. Um, no, 
now we need to straighten up the screen. Done. Okay, this means we can bring some of our heavier fleets um, onto the front. Maybe some of our lighter fleets, actually, like Scylla fleet. Need some XP, need some strikes. Leave the big guns at the back, I suppose. Wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? Okay, enter. Cylon strike group has been detected. You guys jump to that. Can use you to create Fleet new group fleets. Has its coordinates. You max fleet? Yes, you are size wise, so. Fleet group is ready to jump. Okay. Um Imperius. You're gonna go and do Fleet Group is ready to jump. Of colonization. Draco Scylla. Archmage, what's your size? 6,000. Scylla, what's your size? 5,000. Scylla, we're going to have you jump to try and take that. Uh, Apollo, you're going to go with after a fashion. Go to there. Go to Canceron. Fleet group is ready to jump. And we'll give you a chance to kind of rest up and repair. your next big staging thing. Draco will stay there. That's good. That's good. Lots of jumping around on this one. Cylon strike group has been detected. Uh, postpone. Roma fleet. I want you to jump to there. Fleet group is ready to jump. You're going to take on Leonis. Uh, Scylla is going to hold Vergon. That's not bad. Well, they captured two planets, or they captured an entire system. With just a bit of fleet management. Of course, we do need to expand our fleet still. Um, if you would like, I'm talking to the admirals here, obviously. Um, if you would like. Uh, um, a Yanis in your uh, your fleet. Let me know. The Rangers are doing well. Don't get me wrong. Some people prefer the Rangers. Um, the Yanis is just a big metal beast, basically. You jump to. There. I plotted their jump coordinates, you sir. Jump to there. All right, articles colonization. Here we go. Let's do this. Whew. Taking some some bits here. Okay. Um, yeah, I like this kind of setup actually. This isn't bad. Although I think I would rather have you high and you guys a bit lower. I like that more. It's basically I like having this higher up. Um, I'm not seeing any bad guys. Go back to Black Mark 2. It tells we need raptors. I'm not going to take raptors on if we don't need to. I think we're good. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. No Dreadus contact at Mark, and Libran channels are quiet. The SDU aren't here yet, sir. Excellent. I've marked the militia's expected landing point. 
We've earned some time to prepare an ambush, Commander. Have we? Do you think we have? I don't think we have. Understood. Launching alert, Vipers. Understood. Launching alert, Vipers. Okay, let's move towards the enemy. Yes, sir. Um, recording this just after our last failed attempt Commander. at doing Operation Anabis. Or Anabis, whatever it's called. So I'm, I'm feeling. A little hard done to because that was we got so we had such a great start last week and then we got to this week's and things just went wrong so wrong uh, we got a bunch of uh, 150 percent repair things as opposed to the normal repair things that so just ate away our salvage and on it commander we had some bad luck with some enemy spawns and then uh, I think it was jump 8 happened or jump 7 where we had I think the total count was 8 arachne 2 base stars and I think 4 other ships that we never identified oh and a nemesis <laughs> and they were all on all sides so we couldn't like deploy flak and things to cover ourselves um, we'd already lost our sweepers in a previous thing. We didn't have enough salvage to replace them. It, it, it just went bad. It went bad. I encourage you to watch it. I seriously encourage you to watch it because it was hilarious. It just as things continued to spiral further and further out of control, it was absolutely hilarious. It really was. Uh, right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to send the Artemis's uh, Vipers ahead. We can use their flak to defend them, so that could be good. Kane's being grilled about the engagement at Sagittarion. Did they expect us not to defend ourselves? We were there to help them. I'm sure the families of the Sagittarians killed are grateful for your help. They attacked Colonial Fleet ships while Cylons were present. One enemy looks the same as another on the battlefield. The SDU were no different than the Cylons. Okay, now you're talking semantics, my friend. I hate to say this, but when... Yes, Commander. It is pretty much agreed the Cylons are the enemy. Yes, sir. You should really probably throw politics out the window. At least I think you should. Dreadus contact. SDU units confirmed. We meet again, Commander. Yes, we do. Do you think you could shield Lucinda Kane as she propagates the lies about her attack on Sagittarian? Come, sisters and brothers. This is our time to shatter the alliance of Capricorn tyranny. 
Sherman Cottle was right. We're fighting the Cylons' rebellion for them. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes we are. Okay, let's... Spin this puppy around. Yes, sir. Get ready with the old Viper cover. Yes, sir. Understood. Understood. Yeah, that works. Actually, no, I keep you low. <laughs> Don't leave. Yes, sir. Okay, Viper Group 1, select target. Understood. Right, group two. You go for that. Should we send out three? Ooh. I forgot to send you a group, sorry. What's your ship? Freetown. Uh, you. Uh, no, I don't assign group, sorry. Uh, defend. And now we will assign you to group three. There you go. Good. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Missiles incoming! Okay, you guys, I want you to slam on the brakes and race hard. Yes, Commander. Okay, uh... Missiles. Understood. Let's take you out first. Missile tubes prepped. Understood. This is fun. Can, can, I, can I choose? Oh, I was clicking on the same thing, that's why. Go. Missiles incoming.
Yes, sir. Okay. Cranking on the gun power. Lots and lots of gun power. Excellent. Uh, you, I want you to target that. Cool. Squadron has gone dark. You're attacking something and not defending yourself. That makes perfect sense. Ooh, they've got five more twos now. So say we all. Squadron target is confirmed. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. All right, we'll take some hits, but you know that'll happen. On it, Commander. Go. Berserk is taking damage. Mm hmm. Large Dreadus contact. Unless they found themselves an abandoned battle star, I don't think it belongs to the SDU. Humans killing humans. This is unexpected. Yep. Cylon voice modulator. Sophisticated tool. Most likely transmitting from the bridge of a base star. Commander, the bogey has the drop on the fleet group's position. Whoever it is, they've left their broadcast channel open. How are you doing? You're dying. Excellent. Launching drones.
Berserk is taking damage. Yes. We are aware of this. We've lost a Berserk, sir. It becomes evident that you are nothing more than Kane's knife bearer, Commander. Yes. Ever eager to act outside the legalities of warfare. We are Colonial Fleet. We represent the highest military authority of the collected colonies. Yet here you are, supervising the murder of Sagittarian civilians. The Executioner's face is always well hidden. Admiral Kane understands what is required for her continued survival. Do you? Yeah, you see. We're fighting a war against the silence, unfortunately. The uh, Sagittarians are demanding like, to be neutral and all that kind of stuff. Which is fine, that's their, ch that's their option, you know, they can do that. The problem is, they yes, came Commander. here with warships yes, Commander. to attack a completely... Uh, legal hearing they might not agree with it yes commander but by saying they didn't want colonial fleet and the quorum and everything forcing their law on them they're then trying to force their law back so they're just doing what they say they don't want people to do kind of double standards at least that's the way I read it. I'm probably completely wrong. Uh, that should be dead next turn. As should that, but, you know. Why are you defending the Artemis? I mean, I'm fine if you are, but why are you? Cancel. Missile tubes prepped. Missiles on their way. Missiles on their way. Yes, sir. Understood. Okay, so we've lost Berserk, which kind of sucks, but there you go. Job's done. SDU marks are down, and the Cylon broadcaster is no longer in range. Fleet group set to condition two. Surely this proves we're not the bad guys here. No, actually. Lucinda is resourceful. She'll come out of the hearings in a better position than when she went in. Gods, I hope so. We can't have anyone thinking that we could work with the Cylons. This thing is, no one's really the good guy in this one. Not in that fight. Not by a long shot. Okay, we've got uh, the Yanis and the Armor Piercer, but we've also got two Broken Alliance missions come up, so let's take a look at Blockade. Kane was livid in the last. <gasps> My nervous! I'll save you the pain of sitting through it yourself. This exchange from one of her quorum hearings will better explain our position. Colonial Fleet's continued breaches on the Sagittarian border cannot be left unchallenged. We agreed to an alliance of federal representation, but not at the expense of our individual sovereignty.
Sashenka, you and I both know that no one else would dilute their own fleet for a colony that would not defend itself. I agree that the Border Patrol must be reinstated, but until someone else volunteers, that responsibility must fall to Colonial Fleet. Okay. They broke the embargo to begin with. Colonial Fleet is blundering their way through their own war. They are categorically unfit to police domestic legislation. Only option available for now. Give the quorum time to find another solution. In the meantime, Admiral Kane's team can prove the integrity of Colonial Fleet to us all. All right, so we get twelve hundred and forty Tylium, nineteen hundred and twenty requisition points, and then Minerva Blueprint. Sagittarian Lower House continues to enforce the planetary trade and military embargo. The ban has been active since the non-violent coup of the Senate cabinet. Political splinter groups have attempted to negotiate terms with the Lower House, including the Nationalist Democratic Union and the Radical Globalists aligned with the Quorum. Okay, and the other one, Hera. Commander, we have a new request from His Highness Prince Stefan. Kane has greenlit the operation. As a favor to the first family, I guess. One of Vergon's old data facilities has been contested by Cylon forces. They don't want their station back, but they do want an escort for their data exfil team. The facility has files that date back to the cold start of the Imperial Wars. Due to his clearance access, Prince Stefan will join us to oversee Vergon's part in the operation. Who knows? We might end up handling state secrets that even Kane doesn't know about. Another 1280 Tylem and 19... 160 requisition points. Facility above Hera has been on standby for decades. A small maintenance crew was evacuated at the first sign of silent presence. Outdated data facilities are commonly air gapped and require technicians on station for data retrieval. The colonial fleet must maintain the integrity of the air gap and not compromise data security. Uh, we're doing escort mission. That's fair enough. Okay, so we have lost a berserk on this fleet. Uh, so we're going to need one of those and we are going to get um, the no. yeah the Yanis Cruiser three missile tubes look at this armor 95 front 80 rear 95 left 95 right 80 top 80 bottom it's a beast of a ship slow but so powerful and you can load up each one with different ones. So you can go with torpedoes in one, you can go with uh, armor pierces in another, and missiles in another. Or you can go with three nukes, which I know one of my viewers will be drooling over right now. So there's options available to us. Um, is it you? Yes, you need your support ship. Okay, you jump to there. And we've got that rev uh, that berserk being built. We've got two fleets on the way over there already. We'll send Scylla in the first instance and probably Draco, maybe Archmage. I'd like to take one big gun. So we'll we'll take Draco. Cylon strike group has been detected. Okay, we'll postpone that. Out of the jump coordinates, sir. Um, oh, we're gonna, we were taking Inquisitor, weren't we? That's right. Fine. We will take Scylla anyway, though, because it's Scylla. Uh, we probably won't do this diplomatic mission. What are you? Before we do that jump, what is your fleet strength? Uh... One six one. Three thousand nine hundred. Yeah, you got that. All right. In which case, Draco fleet can go back. I know it's going to waste of Tylium, but yeah, we're making Tylium hand over fist right now, so. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do... Is it interference? 
first part. I've tracked down some of the phantom frequencies we keep bumping into oh. in this system. Okay, it's I'm one of those. <laughs> involved. I've sent you the coordinates to the encoded network they're using. Plus three Cylon FTL cooldown. Yeah, we'll do that next time. We're going to have some busy missions coming up, guys. Busy, busy, busy. Um, transfer that to Polyfleet. Done. Yes! So, um, running eight fleets at the moment. We want more, though. We want so much more. Tell me what you think about the Yanis. It's got a smaller overall fleet size impact of 100. Um, so that does give us a bit more options on other things. But, you know, it's options open to us. Plenty of options open to us. It just It's a beast. It's an absolute beast. Um, but... We have a new fleet to build, so we're going to get that on. Uh, we've got lots of RP, so we could do that as bro. We'll get Broken Alliance done, that gives us Minervas, and I know how some people love their Minervas. I'm on the fence about them. I think they sacrifice too much defense for offense. Their flak field is so much smaller than an Artemis, and it's minuscule compared to a Jupiter. Yet yeah, they do have a, another missile tube, so they have that extra five power there. They have more heavier guns. So you'll weigh things up. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like we saw, please do consider subscribing. Let me know what you think about our fleets and how we're working so far. Do you want a Yanis in the fleets? Do you like the Yanis compared to the Ranger? Do you like the Minerva compared to the the Artemis? It's newer. It's slightly faster as well, but I'm not too sure. So discuss in the comments section. Until next time, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.